so today I decided to go for a walk because the weather is pretty nice um, and to take some drone shots maybe maybe some photo shooting as well we'll see how it goes um, and I decided that I can actually share some useful information with you about drones so today I'm gonna tell you what do you need to actually take drone footage in UK I found a nice place where I can take shoot Feel myself like an old 16 year old parkour guy. Oof. I will talk today about what it is to make drone footage in the UK. What licenses do you need? What kind of drones you need to fly? Uh, and yeah, all, all that kind of stuff. Maybe we, 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 we can take some footage today together. How about that? I mean, it's, it's already November and it's so green in UK. I love it. I absolutely love that. You don't really get so much winter here. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Looks like I'm in Singapore or something like that. I think I found a really nice place where we can start shooting. Look at this. So nice. You get all these nice boats all around the waterfront. Let's try to make some nice shots here. So the first thing you need to do is to actually understand your drone and understand what kind of drones there are because there are a lot of drones nowadays uh, on a consumer market. So, if you have a drone which is less than 250 grams, you don't need to register it, uh, which is a cool thing because there are a lot of drones nowadays that uh, fall under this category, like DJI Mini and DJI Mini 2. If you're not like me, uh, I have a DJI Mavic Air 2, you do need to register in, in uh, CAA, which is Civil, Civil Aviation Authority. the videos I hope you did well it was it was fun because I actually had to register for another authorization to shoot in uh, Canary Wharf specifically uh, which is the first thing I'm doing so uh, a great tip for you you know use the the uh, verified uh, manufacturers for drones so that they have software that makes your life much easier because all you need to do is open your app and it will tell you that you need to authorize one more time put all your information in and there you go you can fly with no issues uh, so yeah I, it was fun uh, let's let's find another spot so if you do need to register uh, your drone in the CAA uh, I'll put all the li links in the description below uh, under this video where you can go and register yourself so you would ask why why do you even need these uh, licenses etc but if you think about this, you know, drone is a proper aircraft, right? And there is a very high risk of getting into accidents, uh, damaging other people's properties or hurting other people. So it's really important to understand what your drone is capable of, but it's also very important to understand how to keep everyone safe while you're flying your drone. So I think going through this exercise of, you know, going through the exam to getting a drone pilot, uh, drone pilot uh, license 
is not going to be just good for the environment, it's also going to be good for you because you will understand what you can do and what you shouldn't be doing. So I think it's really good. Look at these fellas enjoying their life in London. Hey, how are you chaps? Doing well? You're not going to steal my gear, won't you, right? This exam will mainly cover things like where you can fly, where you can't, how do you fly around airports. This is a very important one. I mean, we, we had a lot of accidents recently with people flying their drones near aer airports. I mean, that can cause really serious uh, accidents. So please don't do that. Um, so you need to understand how to fly around airports. You need to understand that in different zones, you have different max height restrictions due to other manned aircraft flying there. You also need to understand how you should fly around big crowds, around people, not only from safety perspective, but also from privacy perspective. You don't want to get sued for stalking or something. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really important to understand all that. But if you, if, 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 if you go through that exam and you figure all those things out, it's relatively simple. I find this place really beautiful. I mean, you get these nice uh, little boats around and then you have all these modern buildings on the background. I think this place is just absolutely amazing just for walk arounds and just to enjoy the, the beauty of it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Look at this big fella. Big toys for the big boys. A also big recommendation would be to actually get a uh, drone insurance because especially the one that will give you the uh, public liability coverage as well i mean things happen right you hate paying for car insurance but then you're glad you have it when something happens and you know things things do sometimes happen i hope it's never going to happen with me or you but it's always better to, to be safe so I would really recommend getting a coverage. I mean, especially it's not, it doesn't cost a lot. So it's just gonna be like around maybe 50 pounds a year, 60 pounds a year, but at least you will get the- Are you recording? Yes, but I'm not recording this place. I'm just, just walking around recording. Why, it's just vlogging. Is there any law? It's a public place, isn't it? Even this, these streets. Yeah. Where can I read about that? Uh, you want to read about it? You want to read on their website. Now, if I call you, they will stop you. If they see you on the camera now, they're going to tell the security guard to come and stop you. So you better put it away before they, they do it. But if they stop me, they should show me why it's a private private property, yeah, right? You have to take it up with them. I can call them now and tell them I'm stupid to you. Two hours later. A really nice chat with security guys trying to explain me what you can do actually a good addition to this video right because I, I was just been talking about you know what you can do and can't do with a drone uh, but also there are restrictions to take videos in private areas so the guy was actually really nice I mean and that's why I'm always saying you know don't try to argue just try to understand their point share them your point and everything's gonna be fine so he just tried to explain me that you know there are a lot of big financial buildings here and they as security chaps needs to be aware of what's happening and if they see people with camera they call GoPro a professional camera which is pretty amazing GoPro you, you hear that you already look like a professional camera with all the new mods so he basically explained that you know with all these cameras when, whenever they see a camera they challenge people on why you're taking a video and they ask you to stop for security reasons, uh, but if you explain them in a nice way, that is just a personal blog and it's nothing more than that. And you're just shooting yourself basically and telling about stuff they, they, they're they generally pretty happy with it. He actually said I'm pro promoting Canary Wolf, which is, which is nice. So uh, we ended up on a very good note and we can continue.
So when you will be registering yourself in CAA, you need to remember that you will be registering yourself as a pilot, as a flyer, and as an operator. This is very important. So you need to have a separate ID for a uh, flyer ID and a separate ID to be an operator. Jesus, it's getting windy. I need to find a better place so that you can actually hear me. I hope, I hope GoPro 10 is not gonna fail me and you'll be able to hear something at all. It is getting even worse. I think the weather is changing, so I probably need to uh, finish shooting before before it starts raining or something crazy happens. Oh, less wind now. Okay, so what's the, actually, let's, let me cover, what's the difference between operator and, the, and a pilot? So the pilot is the actually person who will be flying the drone. An operator is a person who will be maintaining the drone, so keep making sure that it's up to date with the software, that nothing broken on it, all that kind of stuff is done by operator. So you could be an operator and a pilot at the same time, or you could get someone else. So it's up to you. I, I have an operator ID and a pilot ID at the same time, which is obviously probably the option you're gonna go with as well. Look at this building right here. Looks pretty amazing. Right, I, I don't know if you can hear anything I'm saying right now, but yeah, I just wanted to take a shot of this amazing place. Like, I love these buildings here. I'm probably gonna stop here, take my camera out and do some photos. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if I can talk here for the vlog because it's windy as hell. Uh, we'll see. So when you have a operator ID and, and a pilot ID, what you need to do is you need to make sure that it's written on your drone. There are multiple ways how you can do that or you just, you, you know, write it on the paper and then stick it on your drone or you can buy special stickers on Amazon. I will put the uh, links uh, in the description and basically you just stick them on your drone so that it's visible. In case you get into an accident or you lose it and someone finds it, they can actually use this information to identify the drone and find you. So, oh, let me sit down. So, after you've got all this, right? So, after you've registered your drone in CAA, again, if your drone is lighter than 250 grams, then you don't need to do that. When you got that, when you got the insurance, again, it's optional, but I highly recommend that. Uh, when you basically complete the test, you can actually complete it without even registering with CAA, just so that you learn how to how to fly your drone, what you can do and what you can't. After you do all that, you're ready to go. And again, you know, as you've seen in today's situation, you know, some sometimes security will ask you questions. But if you have everything, if you understand what you're doing, if you're not doing anything illegal, you should be fine, just explain them, you know, let, let them explain their opinion and then tell them what, that you understand what the rules are, show them all the cars. Oh, actually, let me show you the car. Where is it? Ugh. I definitely have it somewhere. Again, this is an optional thing you can do. Um, you can order this card to basically prove that you have everything so there you go that's my drone pilot identification basically shows all the information that they would need if they wanted to check you uh, like uh, flyer ID operator ID when the when it was registered and what categories um, this this identification comes with and yeah that's really it oh, I really like this place it's actually less windy I actually realized that above Canary Wharf, which is actually interesting, right? So if you fly above Canary Wharf, the signal is not amazing. I mean, with the with the um, Mavic Air 2, you get a really good signal because of their new standard of uh, transmission. But still above the Canary, probably because of amount of like concrete, concrete buildings here. But for some reason, if you fly next to Canary Wharf, just, just around Canary Wharf, it's all fine. When you start kind of flying into the Canary Wharf, the signal gets lost sometimes. I, ne I nearly felt like I've lost the drone a few times, which which was fun. Um, I was sure it's gonna just land on one of the uh, building's rooftops. Um, so I would have to talk to security again. 
already have a great experience today with talking to security uh, to get my drone back which is fun so yeah I hope you enjoyed this small little vlog from me today I tried to explain you know what what are the rules for flying a drone it's not that complicated really and in some countries it's much more complicated so there, there are just a couple of rules that you need to to know and understand and a few places where you need to register again I, I just want to stress out how important the insurance is because things do happen you definitely don't want to get into situations where you need to pay a lot of money if something does happen because you know there is a high chance that you will be able we will have to pay a lot of money so I hope you found this this vlog useful. I mean, let me know in the comment section below how you how you find this format in general. I mean, I'm I'm still trying a few different things and trying to figure out what's the best format. So let me know in the comments uh, what else would you want to learn about. I will try shooting vlogs all the time, so a lot of new content is going to be coming. So make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, please put in the comment section why you didn't enjoy it, what could be improved. Um, yeah. Follow if you subscribe this channel if you didn't yet and make sure you turn on the notifications because again as I said I will be posting a lot of videos, a lot of useful ones, hope so, if not unsubscribe and let me know that you know you unsubscribe because you didn't enjoy the video so I can change stuff um, and yeah I'll see you in the next one.